Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in this world. God bless you. <sighs> this is Gloria White, still coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we are going to be looking in the book of Ecclesiasticus in the New Jerusalem Holy Bible, and we are in um, chapter 11. And this section is called Trust in God Alone. Or there is the slow kind of person needing help, poor in possessions and rich in poverty. And the Lord turns a favorable eye on him, lifts him out of his wretched condition. And enables him to hold his head high thus causing general astonishment, good and bad, life and death, poverty and wealth, all come from the Lord. To the devout, the Lord's gift remains constant, and his favor will be there to lead them forever. Others grow rich by pinching and scraping, and here is the reward they receive for it. Although they say, now I can sit back and enjoy the benefit of what I have got. They do not know how long this will last. They will have to leave their goods to others and die. Stick to your job, work hard at it, and grow old at your work. Do not admire the achievements of sinners. Trust the Lord and mind your own business since it is a trifle in the eyes of the Lord. In a moment, suddenly to make the poor rich, the blessing of the Lord is the reward of the devout. In a moment, God brings his blessing to flower. Do not say, what are my needs? How much shall I have in the future? And do not say, I am self-sufficient. What disaster can affect me now? In prosperous times, disasters are forgotten. And in times of disaster, no one remembers prosperity. Yet it is a trifle for the Lord on the day someone dies to repay him as his conduct deserves. A moment's adversity and pleasures are forgotten. In a person's last hour, his deeds will stand revealed. Call no one fortunate before his death. It is by his end that someone will be known. And as always, I love you.